folks, how are you? This is Jim Miner, your South Scottsdale real estate agent, bringing you the weekending Crawford Report, which is prepared by Michael Orr at Arizona State University. And of course, this is the real estate market trend report. All right, let's jump right into this as we always do. And Michael's brought us some great stuff to keep us in touch with what's going on in the real estate market. First thing I want to look at right here is Michael is showing us this week the uh, percentage changes in the number of sales from last year to this year and why that's important is because it kind of gives you a feel for where the demand is in the marketplace and if we're in a buyer's market or in a seller's market okay so let's just go up here and take a quick look at a couple different things up here and you'll see that the demand is weakening and normally that means supply increases but guess what it's not happening we actually have kind of an unusual situation. We have the number of listings, which is the supply, is decreasing. The buyer enthusiasm is decreasing. And thus, we have a market that's actually not looking bad, but the two major components are both moving down. Kind of strange. But anyway, let's take a look at some of the cities here. One of the things that Michael points out to us, okay, I do want to bring this to your attention. Only two cities are showing more sales than last year. Just scoot right back up here. Florence and Sun City. Florence, it's anybody's guess. Nobody seems to know. Sun City, reason for that is because Sun City has a lot of cash buyers. That's where a lot of the age restricted retirement folks go to. And so the buyers aren't hemmed in as much by the ability to get a loan. It's tough to get a loan out there right now, folks. And that's why uh, we attribute some of this demand being soft because it's just, it's difficult to get, uh, to get a loan out there to purchase a home. And then as uh, you see down here at the bottom, it says of the large cities, Mesa and Goodyear are holding up best while Glendale and Phoenix are down the most. But here's something really strange. Paradise Valley, big homes, they've been selling very well, as I've been telling you over the last several weeks. Those are the two million plus homes. And Carefree, which isn't very far away, that's North Scottsdale, well, North North Scottsdale, down 34.2%. That is a big drop, folks. And then, of course, let's take a look at Scottsdale. Remember, this is North and South Scottsdale, down 12.2%. Actually, South Scottsdale is doing better than that. South Scottsdale is quietly just holding its own out there. And the reason being, it's much more affordable than North Scottsdale. And, of course, the location is the best, in my opinion, in the entire valley. OK, uh, you can obviously pause your video and read where your city is in here and you'll see how the sales of last year relate to this year. OK, hey, let's jump on up here and take a look at the dashboard. We always do that and we'll bring this up. And of course, it takes a couple seconds on the world's fastest computer here. And bingo, there we go. Let's start off by looking at the Cromford Index, okay? One thing, because I know each week we have new folks watching, real important to understand, the baseline is 100. Anything below 100 indicates a buyer's market. Anything above 100 indicates a seller's market, okay? Now, this is the market, and we see 87.3. And we're just a touch into the red right there. But you see the slope is kind of going up. Remember what I told you? The market's kind of holding its own. But let's look at demand. Demand just keeps slipping down. And we're at 80.2, just about ready to sneak into the 70s. And that is not great, folks. Let's look at the supply. Hey, hasn't changed. We still don't need to get that big East Time College degree to figure out which direction this is moving. Down. Okay, 91.9, below 100. This tells us buyer's market. Now, if you're on the periphery, that means out there in the Queens Creeks and the Maricopas and the Buckeyes and what have you, I'll tell you, sellers, you're going to have to offer concessions and buyers, don't be afraid to ask for it. But as you move toward the center of the city, as I've told you in the past, downtown Phoenix, Arcadia, South Scottsdale, 
the sellers don't have to offer much in the way of concessions and the buyers you're going to be making the mistake if you're asking for it because you're probably not going to get it okay so just kind of things to keep in mind when you're preparing your offer or thinking of selling your home all right let's take a look at the pending listings I always like to look at that as you can see this thing is still sloping the gradual slope down here in pending sales this is the number of sales in the greater Phoenix area per week okay and then whoops I'm sorry folks then let's go down here to the list price per square foot this one always is something you need to pay attention to okay here's where pending clothes are selling at okay in this hundred fifteen to hundred twenty five dollars per square foot active this is the active look at the gap here folks thirty four point three percent that's the average amount that a home is overpriced in this market now that includes everything okay because some folks are trying to get that number from last June it's not there and then we move on down to days on market okay and we can see still hanging in there about 80 it's actually 82 hanging in there around 80 okay all right that's it for this week uh for the weekend in Crawford report and the biggest thing to take away here for all of you folks that are newer and starting to watch uh this weekend in report and that is right now we're, we're essentially in the buyer's market there are pockets around the uh, greater phoenix area that they aren't sellers markets but they're actually not in bad shape and those are the big three that's the downtown phoenix area that's arcadia and south scottsdale after that uh, you start to shift into more of a buyer's market okay hey that's it for this week and this is jim minor your real estate agent from south scottsdale and if you would like to see more of this report which most of my clients have access to then give me a call 602-345-0433 and i'll look forward to speaking with you and you folks have a nice week and we'll talk to you at the end of next week all righty thanks now